It's the mighty Highland Globetrotters in the uh, skies of Man City versus Southampton. Now, Man City minus 725, Southampton at plus 1600. Last year is exactly the same. It was minus two and a half for City. This year at a minus 110. Um, under over four goals. Well, if we see four goals, then I fancy that two and a half is a definite for Man City. The draw for me is redundant this year at plus one, uh, 900. Steve, I'm going to come to you first because Man City at home against this Southampton side who don't, they don't attack in the same vigour and they're not together at the back. I see Man City scoring three or four. So plus 135 for over three and a half is a possible runner. But the minus two and a half, I see them winning minimum three nil. Um, yeah, firstly, like last season, I think me and Mark were way off with the with, with the result. You got it absolutely spot on back in Southampton plus two and a half and, and finished uh, nil nil. So quite interesting that you've kind of gone full circle and, and now looking at Man City to win comfortably. I, th- I don't, I don't want to sound, um, you know, like a broken record, but I, f- I find trying to calculate or estimate the amount Man City are going to score I- impossible, and it's made it even harder this season. With, you know, for example, on the on Champions League Wednesday night, he took off Haaland at half time. You know, that's going to have a huge effect on on Man City's overall number of goals that they score if uh, if their main striker is going to be subbed at half time. So I find that really tricky. So I kind of uh, here, I'm just going to briefly mention, um, you know, the potential for Southampton to score because Man City have got a few injuries in, in defence. Carl Walker's out injured. John Stones is out injured. And it looks like Nathan Aki will, will come in again. And, and City have actually been conceding quite a few goals in the Premier League this season. You know, three against United last weekend, three away at uh, Newcastle. They completed, conceded uh, multiple goals in, in other games as well. Um, I wouldn't want to back that Southampton minus 110 because, if you mentioned, I think I think with this Southampton side, because it's, cause it's very youthful, that means that the volatility in performances is quite high. But uh, I'd be tempted by uh, you know Man City to win and both teams to score at plus money. I think that could potentially be, be the way to go um, if you didn't want to back Man City on the handicap. Yeah, my problem here, Marco, here is Southampton... No uh, Oriol Romeo, who used to just sit there and make sure that everything was disciplined. Southampton now in midfield. They're a bit too far apart. Uh, and defensively, they, they can't keep clean sheets. So I started this game with Man City free to Southampton score. Well, it's a tip of a coin. I mean, it's like minus 110 for them to score one, but minus 120 that they don't even bother scoring. So I had to go with a minus two and a half at minus 110 because I see some, Man City could be free and love at half time. Mm. Yeah, um, Man City games, it's always difficult to try and find an angle to really hang your hat on. It's so lopsided. But the word was this week that Ralph Hasenhutl was on the verge of the sack at Southampton. So, you know, we're talking now Thursday afternoon UK time. It looks unlikely that to happen now before the match at the weekends, which I guess is a, a slight positive from a, a Saints perspective. There's not going to be as, as much disruption. They can go again and look, Saints are probably going to get smashed up and it, that might be his last game in charge. But um, yeah, if, if he is there in situ on, on Saturday, I think that's a positive. But at the minute, I guess it doesn't really matter. City are, are just mauling teams for, for fun at the minute and particularly at the Etihad and the fact that Haaland was brought off at half time to me suggests he's going to play or at least start again this weekend. Um, City at the Etihad in the Premier League this season have scored goal totals of six, six, four and four. Um, in three of those four fixtures, they've scored three or more goals before half time, um, which is quite a scary prospect really. So um, taking that, I was looking at Man City to score over one and a half first half goals at plus 115. Um yeah. I, I quite like that actually, and it was very close to being included. Um, but I'm probably just going to mull it over because I just need to wait to see what's going on with, with the Hasen Hutel situation. And as well, I like to see the City team sheet. They rest De Bruyne and Foden uh, midweek as well. So, you know, they could well be at full strength against Southampton, considering they only have to go to Copenhagen next midweek in the Champions League, which should be a bit of a walkover again. So, um, yeah, the signs aren't good for Saints. Everything seems to be sort of aligning for Man City in this match. And, yeah, it could be game over by half time. Yeah, I, I just see that it's going to be one of those backs to the wall, but they don't mark. They, I'm, they, the defence of Southampton, they sit there in a block. They don't put pressure on the ball. They don't stop balls coming into the box, and also they don't follow runners. 
So for me, everything you'd want as a Man City player or a Man City fan to see, I think Southampton are turning up completely how they, the opposite to how they were last year when they were completely together. They were hard to break down. And this year, I mean, I can't remember the last time they kept a clean sheet against uh, one of the big guns. So um, I'm happy to go with them to, to lose by three goals, to be honest. And I do like that. Uh, over one and a half Man City goals. So Man City just scored twice in the first half at plus money. I think I'm going to um, have a little bit of that as well. So let's have a little look at the official picks. Yeah, Man City minus two and a half at minus 110. But I do like Man City to score twice in the first half. Uh, plus 115. 